Clinton never expected this after calling an ambulance. CCTV caught the accident that left him more than just battered and bruised. Now he's taking legal action and he wants the system overhauled. You know, everything took a bad turn. Clint's life has been turned upside down because of this. You feel, feel for both the patient and the paramedic in that situation. There needs to be something put in place to stop it happening. When Clinton McLaughlin needed medical help, like many Australians, he turned to the ambulance service. But the 44-year-old never thought he'd end up worse off. Could have been fatal for someone younger, older, sicker, you know. It was in July that Clinton was hit badly by COVID and his oxygen levels were alarmingly low. After speaking with the COVID hotline, a paramedic was dispatched to his home. Very competent medically, um, you know, he checked everything. I sort of thought, there's only one. <laughs> um, and just before getting on the gurney, um, you know, I sort of could see something going wrong. This vision shows Clinton on a stretcher, his partner by his side, while the lone officer prepares him for the ambulance ride in regional Queensland. I did mention to him, you know, I'm, I'm heavy, mate. <laughs> um, my driveway's steep. Everything looks to be under control until the paramedic struggles while lifting one end on his own. Then this happens. I landed with a bit of force. <laughs> Thought I was going to land on my head, so I just tucked my neck. Tried to put my arm out, but I was tied in. Um, I think my elbows, what, pushed my shoulder and tore my shoulder. So just brought tears to my eyes and I was breathless for, it felt like eternity, I couldn't breathe. Within minutes, three more paramedics arrive, responding to what is now an entirely different emergency. After being given pain relief inside, Clint is eventually transported to hospital. It begs the question, why was a single paramedic called out in the first place? Did you feel like it was an accident waiting to happen? Yeah, definitely, yeah. I felt it, um, even getting on it, you know, just sun's uneven ground, you know. It's not the place for a gurney. Do you think it would have happened had there been two paramedics? Uh, it could have been prevented, you know. Two minds are always better than one. To us, it seemed like a, a reasonably foreseeable risk of injury. And um, when, when you consider falling from that height, um, very serious damage can occur. Clinton sustained serious damage, tearing muscles and tendons in both his shoulder and chest, which still needs to be operated on, meaning his job as a painter is on hold. He is now taking legal action against Queensland's ambulance service, seeking compensation and change to the system. What we need to show is that the paramedic and the Queensland Ambulance Service owed Clint and other patients a duty of care uh, and to us, uh, we're, we'll be alleging that they breached that duty of care and as a result, Clint has suffered. Paul Zapata from Shine Lawyers. We think that the resourcing of the Queensland Ambulance Service should be enough to ensure that um, patients like Clint aren't uh, put at unnecessary, unnecessary risk of injury. Yeah, we've been advocating for a long time that it's just not safe for people to respond singly and then to see uh, something like this happen as a result of that is, is really disappointing. Fiona Scallon is the National Ambulance Coordinator for the United Workers' Union. And there's workplace health and safety procedures in place for ambulance that, that call out that there needs to be two people operating that piece of equipment, particularly during lowering or lifting of that stretcher. In a statement to a current affair, Queensland Ambulance Service says single officer response is entirely appropriate and a normal response for patients who access Queensland Ambulance Service across the state. The service adding it provides backup to the single officer where requested or required. I can't see a time at any time where someone was needing to be transported by stretcher where it would be appropriate for a single officer to be doing so. Ultimately, Clint just wants the unsung heroes of our community to get better support. I got no bad feelings towards him. He was a good guy and he did his best to help me, you know, and all the staff that are in those jobs, in those positions, doing that work. They're good, they're great, you know, but um, the system they're working for needs some work. 
Queensland's Ambulance Service sent thoughts and best wishes to Clinton and his family and said it sincerely regrets any distress or injury suffered, but it would be inappropriate to provide comment on this incident while subject to legal action.